Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Force here with some more StarCraft 2 commentary. Today we'll be looking at a game between Fnatic Alive and Squirtle. And I'm sure immediately you're going to say, Force, are you blind? That says pros, and I know what it says, but you have to trust me that it is Squirtle playing on pros account. Let's begin with some tournament information for both these players, starting in the upper right hand spawn position with our blue Terran player Alive. Alive took first place at the Raid Call Invitational number 2 in March of 2012, also took first place at the NASL Season 3 Qualifier, which was also in March of 2012. His opponent down over here in the lower left-hand spawn position is Squirtle, playing on Pro's account, our red Protoss player. He took first place at the ESV TV Korean Weekly Finals 3 in October of 2011. Also took third place at the IEM Season 5 World Championship in March of 2011. And you may be wondering, why is he playing on someone else's account? Well, a lot of times, especially during tournaments, if you don't have an account in a certain region, but you need to play in that region for the tournament, you will just borrow someone else's account. So I am just assuming that that is why Squirtle is playing on Pro's account. I could be wrong though, I don't know for certain, but again, that is just going to be my immediate assumption. Squirtle starting off, Chrono boosting out these workers, and uh, still not coming out with a gateway. We are already at 14 supply here, queuing up another probe as well. And with all this information, it does appear like Squirtle will be going Nexus first here as he continues to delay that gateway and save up those minerals. Back over here for Alive, we are seeing that first depot in play with the racks now building. No refinery yet, and again, this is indicative of an early expansion, so we can expect a one racks into expand here from Alive. And there's the Nexus there for Squirtle. So yes, both players do appear to be opening up here with some early expansions. Now, normally the danger in doing this, of course, is early aggression from your opponent, but since both players are going econ heavy early on, neither of them really has to worry about that. Probe Scout now moving out for Squirtle. SCV Scout also moving out at the moment for Alive's grabbing the tower. He's going to spot that probe coming forward. We do have that first Marine just about to finish. Now let's see if Squirtle decides to force himself by this Marine to get some scouting done. No, looks like he has decided to pull back. So Alive uh, was able to successfully deny that scouting early on by Squirtle. And that is actually really, really good for him because we are going to see this SCV make it up and easily scout that expansion. The gateway is not even finished, so there's no pressure at all forcing this SCV away. And he is safe to continue to scout here. We do have that first Marine continuing to head its way across the map. Second Marine in production with another Rax also coming on through. Still no refineries here for Alive. Zealot is getting Chrono boosted out at the moment. Looks like he might be a little bit worried about some early Marine pressure, and he should be because here it comes. SCV and Marine early on will be pulling forward. Squirtle will likely just be working with a few of his probes here to try to force this back. And actually a couple of probes is really enough of a threat to a single Marine. And now that that first Zealot is in play, that Marine really has no choice but to vacate. Still coming down with the workers, which I feel is unnecessary. I think he should be okay with just the Zealot. Although with a little bit of micro, Alive could do some damage. And I think that is what Squirtle may be worried about here. Another Marine in play, SCV moving over there, and there we go, time for the micro, as both Marines are prepared to try to work down that Zealot. They gotta be careful because you can't stop too close to that chasing Zealot, or else that Marine will get taken out very, very quickly. <laughs> it does appear like uh, Alive is very concerned that Squirtle Zealot will be dropping his Marines, so he's just deciding to continue to pull on back. He's got two more Marines over here. Another Zealot also coming out. A little bit of counter pressure here from Squirtle. However, with four Marines in the center of the map deciding to move back to his natural expansion, we do have a Stalker in place, so we actually could see Squirtle continue to move out with that Stalker. It's a little bit difficult for just Marines to deal with that. Although he does have the advantage of just sitting on top of this ramp and uh, taking out anything that does come within range there, although he might want to keep an eye on that ramp as well. Certainly wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, let's take a look at what we have for transitions here. Squirtle with that Cybernex Core in play is coming out with the Warp Gate Research. We do have additional two gateways also building at the moment. Back over here for Alive. Finally working his way up into a factory, which will allow him to then go into the Starport. Start to get those medevacs into play. It does appear like we will be seeing just some Marine Marauder medevac play, bio heavy play here from Alive, which is pretty much the standard in TVP, and really not much of a reason to deviate from that. We'll be seeing a little bit of micro now here from the 
Stalkers, but the Marines able to pull forward and take out the one Stalker, continuing to pressure here as Alive tries to do as much early damage with these few Marines as he can. Every time he stops, though, those Zealots get a couple shots off. And there we go, all the Marines finally taken care of. Squirtle, let's take a look at that transaction there between those two players. Does look like Alive came up behind there. I don't know what the heck was up with that uh, frame rate drop. I do apologize for that. We will be seeing a bunker get placed down over here for Alive. Also continuing up this production here of Marines. Stimpak research now about halfway done. Reactor coming down on this Rax. With that starport almost finished, we'll be seeing that hot swap pretty much immediately, allowing for Alive to come out with those double medevacs. Proxy Pylon getting placed down over here for Squirtle. Another Proxy Pylon as well. Looks like Squirtle is preparing to move out with some aggression here sometime soon. Double Forge coming into play, which will allow for those 1 1 upgrades immediately. We also have a Pro moving over here, so it might not be pushing out with that aggression that I expected and may instead be coming out with an Expo. We'll have to see what he decides to do with that probe. He's still just sitting idly there for the time being. So there's the Pylon over here. A few Marines will be moving down and scouting that out. Oh, does he miss it? No, he saw it. There we go. So now scouting that out, he's going to take that out immediately. And that alone, losing that pylon, may be enough to just keep Squirtle back and decide not to push forward. Uh, definitely would have needed that if he decided to move forward with some aggression. SCV moving down here for Alive. We also have a pylon getting placed over in this position. Now the other advantage to this pylon, and actually something that I just didn't think of when I immediately spotted it, is that look at these positions here. What are these going to see? These are going to see drops. So when medevacs move out, that is the attempt there with these pylons, although it looks like the medevacs for alive will just barely be moving past that pylon without getting spotted. So this is going to allow alive to sneak up here on Squirtle, and I'm a little bit concerned for Squirtle right now. This drop could do a lot of damage. Let's see. Marines getting dropped now in the main. Squirtle moving up with some forces, also warping in. A few Zealots and Stalkers. Marines now stimming up, trying to do as much damage as possible. Don't know how much he's going to be able to do here, as Squirtle does appear to be adequately prepared with his forces. Zealots moving forward, doing as much damage to those Marines as possible. A little bit of Marine Micro as he continues to try to work down those forces. Now trying to target fire down that sentry. Unable to do so, the Medivacs make it out nice and safe. Let's take a look there at the resources loss. Alive still behind. How many workers did he kill? Killed a total of eight workers, so not a ton. And I don't think that was really worth losing all of those Marines. He lost two medevacs worth of Marines there. Only to kill off eight workers? Probably not worth it. Squirtle now in the main and natural of Alive, getting some scouting information. We don't have a third over here. Factory landing down over here for Alive, which will delay the third of Squirtle when he eventually decides to come out with it. As normally, the third is getting placed over here as opposed to in the center because this is a little bit of a vulnerable position. Marines and Marauder taking out a Zealot. A little bit of a scouting Zealot there. They will also be able to take out this pylon right now. That's unfortunate there for Squirtle. For the reasons I mentioned, he could have really, really used that to get some scouting info to see when drops were coming. And I wonder if Alive is going to attempt another drop anytime soon. Scan takes out the Observer. So Alive spotting that Observer moving out. So he'll take that out. <laughs> now Alive, seeing that an expansion is coming, just deciding to lift off his factory. Doesn't want to move with it though, as we will be seeing some anti-air pull forward right now. Getting a couple shots off. Gonna try to get this burning if he can. That is going to force a land and repair. Otherwise, Alive will just lose it. But it looks like Alive will be able to get away without actually taking too much damage to that factory. So he will be able to continue to use that for some scouting later on in the game. Another medevac drop planned over here for Alive. We also, are we gonna see an expansion or is this gonna be pushing another direction as well? Now we do have Squirtle moving into a third base. But again, as we can see here, Alive still just on the two. Just pumping out of these two bases here. A couple of medevacs over there. We also have a force in the center of the map. Did he spot the observer? I'm not sure. So Alive just waiting to make his move here. Is likely, I don't know, trying to push on two positions. That is a strong tactic. It certainly works. Scan takes out the observer. 
Stimmed up Marine pulls forward for some scouting. Is going to spot that Colossus, so at least now Alive knows that Colossus are in play. I don't think he scouted that prior. Yeah, he did not know about that prior to that scouting Marine. So now that he knows that that's in play, should be seeing some Viking production from him. Sometime soon, hopefully. Again, knowing that some Colossus are in play, will want to come out with some Vikings to try to counteract that. Seeing a lot of mobilization here from Alive. Lots of Marines and Marauders. He has finally moved into his third. It's also getting that saturated, but he is going to couple this with some aggression here as he makes his way towards the center of the map. Thermal Ants upgrade coming out for Squirtle. That is the extra range there for those Colossus. Nice positioning there. A Squirtle fully prepared for the possibility of a drop. That is enough to deter Alive and force back those medevacs. All right, I do want to take a quick look at upgrades here for both players. Alive currently sitting at 01. He has got the level 1 armor and the level 2 weapons also coming through with the armor just about finished. Level 1 ship weapons getting researched. That is, of course, for those Vikings, allowing them to do more damage and drop those Colossus a little bit faster. Here for Squirtle, he is 2 2 at the moment with 3 3 upgrades coming through. Again, as well as those Thermal Lance upgrades for the Colossus. Continuing to produce Colossus, so hasn't made a transition here into High Templar. He is going to stick with these Colossus for now. We've got four Vikings in production. It does appear like Alive was waiting to make those Vikings until he spotted more Colossus. Now that initial Marine Scout only spotted a single Colossus. And it's easy to overreact and then all of a sudden produce a ton of Vikings. But very wisely, Alive decided to wait a little while longer to see if there was more than just one Colossus in play. Medivac gets taken out by the Blink Stalkers there by Squirtle. Attempted drop doing no damage. So yes, very wise of Alive there to wait and see if there was continued Colossus production or if there was just one and then a transition into High Templar. And then now with these two starports with reactors, he can very easily work up those Viking numbers. We also do have some Colossus in play for EMPs and for eventual snipes if we do see High Templar come into the mix. Medivac is still sitting over here preparing to do another possible drop. We don't have any Medivacs over here. So it's just this one at the moment that's getting ready for a drop. Marines, Marauders, and Medvacs now moving across the map. Both players still on the three bases here. Also working their way up to supply cap. Let's take a look at army supply 120 to 119. Pretty much even at the moment in terms of their army supply. Scouting Marine moving forward. Squirtle preparing to move into a fourth base as he drops the pylon up here. Marine gets taken out. Medivac is also pulling back over here because he's worried about some Blink Stalkers taking that out. Now moving across the map, Squirtle taking down these destructible debris, making it so that reinforcements and an eventual push will come much easier. Also have a proxy pylon getting laid down over here, and here we go. Alive trying to take the expansion in the center of the map, spots the force of Squirtle moving out and decides to cancel that. We also had this Marine and those Marauders take out the pylon over here. They're going to continue to push now towards the third. Major push coming out here for Squirtle. Blink Stalkers moving forward. So many Vikings in play. My gosh, those Colossus are in danger. Guardian Shield trying to cut back the damage. However, the last of those sentries got taken out there. It's a nice concave, though. And even with all those Vikings, my gosh. Colossus doing so much damage to the bio there. Another uh, Colossus move forward for reinforcing. <laughs> and just as those Vikings landed, finally though the Vikings lifted back up and the Marauders able to push back the rest of those Stalkers. The push over here by Alive was taken care of. Not sure that he did that much damage. Still only eight workers killed and I don't see much else that was destroyed here. So it looks like that small push from Alive didn't do too much. Blink Stalkers now moving down towards a third. I think the command, overall command down to half health. And then we see the SCV mass repair. Stalkers blinking back, trying to stay away from the bulk of that bio. However, more Stalkers coming in play. Will be enough to force this back. And you see some blink Stalker aggression here. Forcing the SCVs off the line is alive. He's a little bit concerned. He doesn't have enough to deal with this at the moment. So many SCVs will be lost here. More bio reinforcements moving forward. Stalkers just blinking back whenever they get low. Love the micro there by Squirtle. Continuing to chase down Alive's forces. And Alive has no counter response going on at the moment. He's just focused on dealing with this. A couple more medivacs coming to join the fun. Trying to help heal up the rest of this bio. More bio reinforcements. Stick and Marauder Heavy to deal with the Stalker Heavy force of Squirtle. 
Again, we have this pylon right here, so we're going to see continuous reinforcements. There we go. A couple of zealots coming into the mix. He's already 3-3. That's a, a big factor here, as right now we're only 2-3. Four alive. Continuous aggression. There were a lot of SCVs lost. 38, in fact. That's a major problem there for alive. Want to take a quick look at the income. You can see Squirtle is ahead right now. And again, losing all those SCVs uh, played a big part in that. Moving forward again with some more SCVs. Transition into Zealot Heavy is going to help him against this Marauder Heavy Force. Again, the Marauders do very well against the Stalkers, so throwing in a few Zealots is going to help force them back. Allow those Stalkers to get a few shots off. There's a lot of Medivacs though healing up. Some more bio reinforcements moving down. Another warp in, just a constant engagement here. It's like finally though, Alive is able to force back Squirtle. He'll be lifting up his forces and moving out for a drop. Now again, the income advantage currently going to Squirtle. Managed to kill off 52 workers, and I think that's why we're seeing a drop here from Alive, because he realizes, man, I took a lot of damage there. My income is quite likely behind Squirtles at the moment. I need to do some significant damage. So here comes a drop in the main. Let's see what he's able to do with this. We've got a few forces over here. This bio stimming up is going to start to do a lot of damage, though. Working to take down some of these pylons and unpowering these warp gates. That could be a problem there for Squirtle. So without those warp gates, he cannot warp in more units. Losing more power. I don't think any of his warp gates are powered right now. None in the main are. That is terrible. Still got Blink Stalkers and the Sentry, though, doing what he can. Marauders able to take out the rest of those forces. Just a few Stalkers over here. Still with no power to those warp gates. Ouch, but here's a Colossus. Colossus in play. Should be able to take out those Marauders. There it is. Wow. Squirtle calls it GG as he loses a Colossus. Unbelievable counter, counter drop there from Alive. You know, we saw he was behind. We also have a push coming in from this direction. I'm not sure if Squirtle scouted that, but if he did, that could be a big part of the reason why he also decided to call GG, realizing that this was still coming. Unbelievable, though. Drop, unpowering all of these warp gates and leading to the victory for Alive. Although he was behind, Alive, after losing a ton of SCVs, moved out with a counterattack drop inside of the main of Squirtle. He was able to unpower all of the warp gates inside of the main, making it so that Squirtle could not warp in any more reinforcements and leading to the GG. Really unbelievable conclusion to this intense back and forth game here between these two players. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Keep watching. Keep owning.